go. Had to do a quick restart for the emulator earlier because I ever so lightly grazed my USB plug for my headset and it bumped out, so I lost audio entirely, so I had to close the emulator and re-plug in my headset and uh, reopen Wild Arms, but uh, here we are. Finally back with more Wild Arms. I know it's been many, many months since my uh, last stream of it. Um, also, just a little heads up, uh, I kinda lost my save file for the Pokemon Ruby randomizer. So, that whole thing is kaput, unfortunately. Um, so I was playing Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on my emulator, right? Which is notorious for being annoying to have actually save properly, like, on the on, on a hard file there and such. So I was trying to tinker with the, like, the battery type and file type there and whatever, and the actual emulator itself. Um, and in doing so, that somehow caused me to lose my file, my save file for Pokemon Ruby. Um... So yeah, that was kind of annoying. I was gonna see, I was trying to see if the file was still there earlier tonight, um, just to make sure it was all good, and it was gone. So by default, we have Wild Arms, which I am totally fine with. Um, so for a little update as to what we've been doing in the game since before, um, the demons since Ransat, is it is it Ran or Ramsat? I forget which one it actually is. They attacked Saint Centaur while we were in the uh, Caging Tower. Um, they destroyed the second, yes, the uh, second guardian statue here of uh, Ion Pawa, who we got the rune for the div to uh, Jack there, better than the uh, fire rune there. I um, also picked up a duplicator from here, one of the uh, one of the doors we couldn't get into before they were blocked by NPCs there and such. Um, so now um, the town is fully devoid of any people except the uh, blind girl actually, who we talked to way way earlier. Um, so I'm gonna just leave now. I think I've done everything there is to do around here. Okay, I can fight one battle. May as well. Um, okay, so got some more Hellhounds. These guys, I think, are weak to ice, I want to say. Um, mm, mm, let's use Spark. I like Spark. I also love critical hits, because they do uber damage. So yeah, to make up, well, in a way to kind of make up for no Pokemon Ruby, um, I'm going to be streaming for a decent while, I'd say. Probably till mm, at least 11, maybe 11.30 actually. I do have work tomorrow, but it's not until 5 in the afternoon. And I can also take a nap during the day if need be, so I could probably go to like 11.30. Somewhere thereabouts. Oh, free heal, heal, heal berry. I always enjoy those. Also, Discord. I enjoy Discord. I'm on Discord quite a bit. <laughs> Though if you guys know me, you already know that. Anyway, we have to make our way towards the uh, final Guardian statue, which we'll be heading off to momentarily, after a cutscene. <coughs> With the uh, Quarter Knights here, and their big old cocoon mother. That's... unsettling. It might be a little faint, but you can hear the heartbeat, actually. The boom, 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 boom. It's a little freaky. You guys shouldn't be too worried about us. You're, you're already 2 for 3 in the statues. And we are 0 for 2. So, yeah, you guys are doing fine. Oh, well, we haven't seen you in action yet. We've already had a fight with Belselt. Although we haven't seen... Al has it in combat yet. He just sent the uh, Night Gaunt after us back in the, uh... Well, actually, yeah, the uh, Cajun Tower, just recently. You lost the game. <sighs> Xavier, I just gave it to you, and you lost it? <sighs> Bruh. Capital B, capital R, capital U, capital H. <laughs> Good to see you, as always. Hope you're doing well. Finally back to more Wild Arms today for the first time in, oh, months. <laughs> many, many months. I actually don't even know exactly when it was. I would have to check either my VODs here or uh, my YouTube channel when I posted the uh, stream footage there. Oh, just had some Wawa. Nice. I have never been to Wawa. I've also never really been farther out east, like in Pennsylvania, to even sample them before. 
I would really like to, though, at some point, because I know a lot of people compare them with sheets. And I absolutely love sheets. And I've heard Wawa's food is really, really good. So yeah, if I ever get out east to like Pat's East or um, Pat's Unplugged whenever they're allowed to uh, actually have people come there physically again, I can God only hope, right? Um, I will happily go to Wawa with anyone I can, for sure. Oh God, that's unsettling. That bone cracking sound pretty much ugh, just ugh, just shudder <laughs> but yes I love this game too it is an all time favorite of mine has been for many many years going on like 20 years or so <laughs> this one is very much an oldie but a goodie <sighs> we need a new wild arms title desperately like PS4 or PS5 Either one, both would be just would be totally cool with me. Um, oh, Patsy's. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought there were um, Wawas at uh, uh, near Boston, or at least in that area out there. I know, I know they are more eastern. Oh, uh, but yeah, I know there's of course Wawa in Philly. I would love to go to Philly, if only for the food. Because I've heard there's some amazing food spots that are out there. Um, and yes, Legend of Dragon Remake Remaster. Sign me the hell up for that. People have been wanting that game for like 20-some years now, too. On headset, why? Oh, I hate how it does this. I didn't even touch my headset this time, and it just it I just lose sound for some dumbass reason. Okay, this hopefully will work. Okay, we're back. If anything, it's a super easy fix if that ever happens, so... Still annoying, obviously, but here we are. Um, so anyway. Um, yeah, Patsy's is in Boston. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I, I did not fully know that. I, I just know that they were, like, more so out east as opposed to Sheets, which is, like, more... Western? At least more west from Wawa, anyway. Yeah, Sheets' food is absolutely amazing. And I also really, really miss having Sheets down here, because we don't have one down here in uh, Arkansas there. Yeah, someday if my brother and I ever move back to Pennsylvania, uh, we plan on having a super, super big Sheets order for the two of us. Like, gonna <laughs> spend like $30, $40 total. <laughs> Just did all... All tons of food there, like there's, there's soft pretzels, hot dogs, their wraps, their sandwiches, the fries, mozzarella sticks, chicken tenders, all the good stuff, and then some, because their food is super good. Anyway, uh, we're at the uh, well, we'll see what area we're at here next, but we have the uh, lightning statue for our final guardian statue here to uh, protect. We are 0 for 2 right now, so uh, not doing too hot. Um, I would like to do that, but I don't know if I'd have the money to do so, and I'd also need to put the time in off of work, um, so tentatively, I'd have to politely decline, just because I, I don't know financial-wise financial how I'll be doing then. But if things do come up, or change, or what have you, I will definitely let you know for sure. Anyway, here we have the town of Port Timney. Let's go ahead and do a quick ammo reload. And I may as well save while I'm here, too, just because. And do a safe state here as well. So hopefully I don't lose this save file as well. I'd be super pissed at that point. Town of Sailors and Merchants. Oh, interesting. Well, the lots of uh, goods here to sell, I'm sure, and trade and buy and whatnot. Uh, Captain found that stone statue. Oh, interesting. Where would he have found it, I wonder? 
Oh, got some money there. Nice. Um, do I need to do any shopping here? Actually, I don't think I'll need to, because the shops here sell the uh, same stuff as they did in St. Centaur. So anything you didn't, we weren't able to buy there, you'll be able to buy back here. But uh, I should be okay there, right? Uh, yep, 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 and yep. Cool. Anything to sell? Mm, I'll keep the goat dolls for right now. The butler, okay, I can sell that. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, that sounds super cool to me, and I, I absolutely literally want to meet you in person as well. Oh my god, there's tons of people from YouTube, uh, Twitter, Discord, although the, some of those blend together with people that I want to meet in person. Um, Patch would be a big, big one for me to go to for sure, because I know tons of people uh, that I follow and such uh, go to them. Did a save state there. I don't know why this happens. This is so annoying. Might be because the plug's a little faulty, perhaps. But I mean, I'm glad it still at least works. Okay, we're back. But yeah, I don't, I don't know also why it, it, I lose the game audio and not the commentary. Although I guess I, ha I do have the uh, game audio coming through the headset as well. Um... Okay, so, arm upgrades here. Um, I could upgrade Prism Ray. It is good for, um, an AoE attack there. Um, do I need money for anything else later on? Shop-wise, we don't have a new shop for a long time, I think, actually. Um, let's see. What, what? Oh, whoops. Okay, run button. There we go. Um, so, okay, yeah, I may as well do a few upgrades here while I'm at it. Do okay, yeah, yeah, they're fairly cheap. So let's do a couple here, and give you another bullet while I'm at it. I'll probably upgrade hand cannon here as well. Actually, let me, let me do that right now for five grand. But it's totally worth it. His hand cannon is Rudy's, really his trump card for quite a while actually. Okay, um, that'll work for right now. Ten bullets ought to be more than plenty if they did us through for a while. Um, yes, this is still very very early game. Yeah, I'm only. Oh, couple hours in, really, so far. So, yeah, there's there's still plenty of game left to go, for sure. Items, 10, 10, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Let's buy a few more of those. And light shrooms, and yeah, one more of those. Will I ever really use those? Hardly ever, but they're there, so I may as well. Uh, Maze of Death. I don't know if I want to go there. It doesn't sound like the friendliest place in the world to go to. Y yeah, that doesn't sound like I'd want to go there for a vacation. Or a weekend trip. Or literally anything else. <laughs> anyway, got two grand there to make up some of the uh, buying from before. Oh yeah, new spells. Um, I have three crest gra graphs, so I may as well get some of them, right? Uh, let's see. Reflect could be okay... Um, evasion could be okay. Darkness on a weapon, eh. This spell here, I think is Berserk. That's not really that good. Um, oh, I do want this one, actually. Um, this one's called Light Blow, I think. It essentially, well, like it said, uh, adds holy to your weapon attack there. Uh, mainly good for Jack and Rudy there to cast on them. And that'll be very, very useful for a boss fight later on. MP Absorb, eh. Um, oh, this one should be a good one, too. Magic Resist... I actually don't use that one too often, so no, never mind. Um, Black Magic, though. I do want some of this. Um, oh, Slow Down. I definitely want this. That is huge, huge, huge. Uh, let's see. So that. And oh, wait. Um, do I have... It should be one of these ones for White Magic. Um, wait. For, yeah. for the next dungeon we go to, you absolutely want to have the awake, Awaken spell here. It'll be extremely useful for a boss upcoming very, very soon, actually. Uh, let's see. Scan, don't really need. Nullify magic spell, nah. Silence, vortex, imprison. Uh, freeze wouldn't be terrible to have, actually. Sleep, nah. Let's go ahead and just get water while we're here. And of course, that reminds me of this. 
water and water and water 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 I just I love that video so much I don't know why it's so stupid but it's just so funny if you know you know but uh, if not, just look up Final Fantasy VIII, water, water, and water, water. And you'll be good to go. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's water and water. I, I forget how it goes. Oh, uh, no, it goes. Yeah, water and water, water, water. Just Final Fantasy VIII water. <laughs> That's all you need to know. You'll be fine. It's a really short video there, too, but it's really, really funny. Uh, oh, it wasn't called The Maze of Death. Was it called something a little more wholesome? Search of the Crystal Bud. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting that for myself. It sounds fancy. Uh, any items in the barrels here? You'd think I would remember where all these are, but I kind of don't. Uh, let's see. Normal sense of love. Uh, I'm slightly frightened. But I should probably go talk to this guy anyway. He sounds pretty important. Ooh, a revive fruit. Nice. Magic key called a duplicator. Oh yeah, I already have one of those. Well, actually, two of them, and I just stole it, so, uh, thanks. <laughs> Let's see, anything up over here? Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, well, more importantly, we have... What? Why were you in a box, sir? Hello? Hi? Um, one thing, who put you in there? Two, why were you in there? And three, how weren't you dead? Oh, that's a weird way to punish somebody for putting them in a in a box. Oh wait, how what what are you what are you doing? He's a ninja. <laughs> or or a pickpocket. Nah, I don't really need money. I can just fight monsters for that. So have <laughs> big box energy, indeed. Also, those boxes just in general are really really big. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the tip, I guess? Not that we really needed all that much, and, uh, okay, bye. Wait, why? You're a treasure hunter. You don't, you don't need to steal. That assuming monsters even have pockets to begin with there, Jack. And they... Th that sounds kind of gross. <laughs> it's if, uh, just for one thing there. You, you guys are treasure hunters. Did you not know this? Well, got a new fast draw hint there. I'll be trying that here later on. Oh, nice. I appreciate that. Yep, episode went up earlier today. Um, I wanted it to go up at 10 a.m. actually, but it was still processing at that time, so it didn't go up until like a little bit after. Um, so yeah, I missed, missed the deadline by just a little bit there. Um... Nice sound just kind of warped there for a sec. Hmm. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Can't really say I'm surprised at that. Yeah, I, I won't be really doing that that much on YouTube. Like, the Final Fantasy 1 LP will be going up, like, once or twice a week at most. So, it's it's there, really. Oh, wait. Um, what were you saying? Kind of glossed over there a bit. Verbal feud between the captain and Drake. Uh, he's going to use a crystal bud to propose to his girlfriend. Oh. But he doesn't have... Oh, what an oh, idiot. You'd think you would want to, you know, have the thing first. I mean, that's kind of common sense. Okay, well, where can we find one? <laughs> oh, I am happy to be of service. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to record more episodes of it for this week. Um, I do work late uh, every night coming up here now. Um, I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to end the week. Um, five to tens for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, and then two to ten Sunday. So, Although I might be able to leave work early on Friday, so I might be able to record or stream something then. We'll see. But that would be the only day I'd be able to do, to do something, more than likely. Um, oh, Desert to the West. Uh, well, we could do that, but what's in it for us? 
Wait, you have the Guardian statue? How in the hell did you find it? Also, where did he find it? He just kind of said he just found it, so... Hmm. Okay, well, that's our end goal here coming up here. I... I don't know who would want to marry Bartholomew. He's not really the most romantic guy in the world. Or the smartest. Or anything. <laughs> he's he's kind of dumb. But he is a lot better and more fleshed out in the uh, PS2 remake Alter Todef. Um. Okay, well the sign tells me to not enter, but I kind of do have to. So, here I am. Also, getting inside this part's kind of weird. It's a little bit random as to where the dungeon actually is, but pretty much, um, whenever you see the screen zooming in on it, that means you're close to the actual location there, but it's random where it'll be actually each time. So if you don't find it quickly enough when you're, like, walking around in there, it'll actually kind of move somewhere else, which can be a little annoying, actually. Okay, so this part, well, it is a maze, so we're going to be here for a little while. But first things first, uh, I want to go back to the center room over here and do a quick save. Now, that wall to my immediate north, remember that for later. That will be coming in handy. That's my... Oh, crap, my laptop's not even plugged in. What the... What the hell? Whoops. How did they even come unplugged? I didn't even notice. Actually, let me do a hard save here. Bear with the uh, slowness here for a little bit while I do this, just to make sure that it saves properly. Save through both files here. Uh, Golden Sun. Um, I have played... Um, and then the second one, not... Have I played the second one at all? If I have, very, very slightly. Um, but yeah, those are games I really, really need to play because I've heard they're incredibly good RPGs, both of them. But uh, in due time, in due time. Okay, so sound problem fixed again. Or at least remedied for right now. But yeah, those I will, I will, I don't know if I'll LP them, but I will play them at some point for sure. Oh, I should have went to the end before coming in here. Uh, oops. Then we'll be fine. These guys aren't... Well, girls, I should say, aren't too... Of course, Xavier, not your fault, obviously. I do appreciate you letting me know that it, uh, it's been on the fritz. Um, okay, uh, we good now? I unplugged it and plugged it back in, so hopefully uh, we're good. Oh, actually, let me grab some water here. Okay, I am back. Alrighty. So yeah, again, I apologize for that. Just 
just the wire's a little bit faulty, apparently. Um, I'm trying really not to move too, too much to, like, aggravate the wire any further. Um, so yeah, I'll just try to be more careful of that in the future. But yeah, I was saying earlier, too, I think it was my headset was still muted. Um, but thanks for the heads up on that as well. I appreciate it. Okay, anyway, Maze of Death. Um, the general area, or general theme for this part here, that we have five statues throughout the area to push into place that will eventually unlock where we want to go to end the area. Um, they're, of course, scattered all around the, uh, well, the maze here. <laughs> but on nothing we can't handle, we'll be fine. Oh, new enemy here, the minion. Oh, while I'm here, let's try out the new fast draw hints for uh, Jack there. Um, no, no luck there. This one, really, I won't even use that that much. I just want to get it just to have. But then, really, once I get it, I'll more or less never use it again. But it'll be there if I really want to use it. Anyway, let's go over this away first. And grab the uh, chest up over here for... Ooh, a crest graph. Nice. I will uh, save that for later. And, okay, here's our first statue here. So we'll give that a quick push to the right. <laughs> Go to the next aisle! There's just there's still more soup! Where are you right now? I'm at soup! <laughs> oh my god, I love that video so much. <laughs> I've watched the original one where it's based from, but I've also there's the uh, Team Fortress 2 one there as well, which is it's so so good. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you! <laughs> Just escalates so quickly, and I love it. It's so good. I'm gonna have to watch it again here after this. Oh, new enemy here, by the way. These uh, gemstone things. They have very high physical defense, um, but pretty low HP actually. So. Um... They also poke you with their pointy end, which kind of hurts, actually, as you would imagine. But uh, they go down pretty easily enough there, so not too bad. Nice money, though. Um, so let's see. Let's go up this away. It yeah, did that debut in some uh, abridged series, actually. Um, for, for some anime abridged show, actually, back in, like, 2010? Question mark? I don't re recall, actually, when exactly it came out. But anyway, ooh, no one to me here, the uh, Screamer, the dude on the, uh, well, left over there. Uh, let's see here, let's try out the new fast draw hint here again. Cecilia... Um... They had a physical attack for you, why not? I just love that generic sound. Oh, hey, got the new fast draw already. This being Trickster. Pretty much lets you steal an item from enemies, and, well, it's yours after that. By and large, well, at least from what I know, it's not that, that useful. It is in some cases, of course. Um, I will say, though, um, those Hellhounds we fought earlier in uh, Saint Centaur there, you can actually steal magic carrots from them, and I will be stopping over there later in the game. Once I can uh, revisit that area to start to a uh, stock up on them, because they are extremely useful to have, because you can't buy them anywhere in the game. <coughs> nice EXP there as always. Nice. Yeah, with this part being as long as it is, I'm gonna get a handful of levels here for each character. Hopefully, I'd like to get at least two per character while I'm here, if at all possible. At the very least, I'll get one apiece, so that'll be no problem there. <sighs> Why are there fireworks going off right now? It's not even 4th of July weekend yet, it's still three days away. <sighs> well, what can you do? I will say, though, I am super, super grateful and lucky and glad that Crassus and Pompey are not bothered by fireworks whatsoever. They don't even give a single heck about them. It's really, really nice, actually. Oh, the Mandalorian's getting butts too. Ooh, nice. I heard that. Sh I heard the show itself is really, really good. So yeah, that's cool to hear. That's getting some, uh, getting a butch series as well. 
Oh, I know a handful of people that would uh, definitely enjoy that news. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. I guarantee that they love you too. Now, they ain't phased by fireworks or storms. They weren't even phased by earthquakes, for God's sake, when we were in California. We had two of them, and uh, two separate times there, and they weren't even bothered whatsoever. Though, they were super weird, though, just in general, when we had them. The first one was very, very minor, barely even noticeable. Um, the other one, at a later date, was like a... It's like a 2.3 or 2.4 on the Arithmetic scale there. Um, that one was noticeable, and it was super, super weird. Just... You know, it, was, it happened at about 1 a.m. or so, and we did feel like our beds like our beds in our bedroom shake, and like our apartment shook too. It only lasted for a few seconds there, but... Um, yeah, it was bonkers. Yeah, I actually don't know if they were alerted to the earthquake before we noticed it. Um, because, yeah, back then, they slept in my brother's room, actually, both of them, and I slept in my room by myself. Um, See, so yeah, I, I don't know if they woke up first and sensed it, and in turn woke him up before it happened, or, like, I don't know the full story on his end. Uh, but, yeah, it was kind of weird. Kind of very weird, really. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go this way? No, not yet. I want to go this way first. Um, statue number three, I believe, right? Yes, it should be number three. Okay, loop, loop around over to this path. Actually, wait. Before I go... Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, the green stuff here, that uh, acid... Don't step on that. You'll lose 10 HP. So, yeah. Don't do that. Learn, learn from my mistakes. Well, actually, there was, was another time years back I went through an earthquake as well. Um, this would have been... 2011? I want to say, yeah. Um, I was over in Pennsylvania staying with my mom at the time for my job I was at there. Um, I was sitting on her, on her computer just browsing usual stuff there. Um... And then an earthquake struck, actually. This was like the aftershock of another one. Uh, let me think. I want to say it hit in uh, West Virginia was the epicenter of it. So we just felt the aftershock of it. Um, but none of my other family members even felt it because they were all either in their cars. Or actually, I think they were all in their cars or just far away enough to where they didn't feel it whatsoever. Uh, but I did. So yeah, I was just sitting there at her desk just, uh, yeah, just browsing Twitter or Facebook or whatever. And then shit started shaking. I was like, "What just, what just happened?" It was, it was super, super freaky. Now I think this path up here. Okay, at least some items. Nice. Ooh, agile apple, mystic apple, hardy apple, and a power apple. Nice. Gonna use all four of these here real quick. Let's give the agile apple to. Hmm. Let's give it to Cecilia. Hardy Apple would give that to... Mm, we'll give it to Jack. Mystic Apple would give that to Cecilia for sure. Power Apple will give that to Jack. Okay. Um, you yeah, are doing pretty good on HP in there and such. I want to try and keep my HP at least somewhat topped off. Although I'll worry more about it uh, later on in the uh, dungeon here. Yeah, I have, I have plenty of MP to spare, and I have a handful of magic carrots, so we should be okay. And also I have heal berries as a, as a backup there of sorts. Though really, actually, I should use those more than my MP, because I can just buy heal berries back for super, super cheap. Literally, at, at any town, pretty much, so... Uh, one thing I thought of, too, actually... Um... I may or may or may not have another stream project going alongside Wild Arms. I was talking about on the last stream there, how I was going to um, pretty much go back and forth between that and, oh, yeah, Pokemon Ruby and Wild Arms there. Um, but uh, now, yeah, I kind of ju just have this, so I'm not sure if I want to just stick with this for a while or have another game alongside. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> yeah. I also wonder what makes them magical. Like, 
do they taste magical or they like they have to be imbued with magic somehow, right? Like how do they, how are they grown? Like who grows them? Where do they come from? I have so many questions on this topic. <laughs> but I mean, I'm glad they exist because they help me out a lot. So I am all for them. Okay, so I want to go. Yeah, I wanted to. Like, I wanted to yeah, reset the the yeah, blots over here. So let's go this way first, and let's go back up to the uh, top right here. Now I'm also, you may have noticed, I'm not actually running through the part here because that will increase the encounter rate, uh, which I <laughs> definitely do not want. Now eventually, well this will, this will be like the mid game actually, I'll get a spell that will literally turn me invisible on the field, which will in turn reduce the encounter rate, and you bet your sweet ass I'm getting that spell as soon as I can. <laughs> Anything to cut down in random battles is A-OK -okay in my book in this game. Let's see, up here? Okay, we already did that, so yeah, yeah I want to go back this away first. Uh, let's see, got a little switch over here. Oh yeah, speaking of these puzzles and such, actually, um, what game is that? Is uh, On the PS1, is it Alundra? That's kind of like a uh, action RPG Zelda clone type game or something. I know of it, and I've seen footage of it, but I don't fully remember if that's the case. I heard it's pretty good, though. Never played it myself, though, of course, along with many, many other games out there, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, hey! <laughs> Much appreciated for the shout-out, Xavier. Uh, thank you kindly. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of working my way towards affiliates still. I'm curious to see where, I'm, where my stats are at after the uh, stream is done there. But yeah, I'll, I probably will reach affiliate at some point, I feel like. Um, but what I'll do with it, I don't really know. I mean, I wanted to stream just for fun, really. Like, affiliates or partner would just be... Well, affiliates... Is, Kind of, I mean, it's a step up from where I'm at now, of course. But yeah, being a Twitch partner, I don't know if I'd really want to... I wouldn't have the time to invest that much into it, really, like, to be a full-fledged partner there and such, and like, to stream more often. Because really, I can, I can only stream a couple times a week for like an hour, hour and a half or so. Um, okay, that way will actually lead to the end of the area that I don't want to go to quite yet. We'll come back to that later on. Um, so for right now... Now let's grab this item over here for... Ooh, a clear chime. Do I actually want to equip that? That could be useful. And uh, yeah, nullifies confusion. Um, so this, for this area, that actually could be pretty damn useful. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, preemptive strike. Nice. Um, in this case, let's go prism ray on the uh, Rachels there. Jack and Rudy can go after the uh, gemstone. Jack, where are these crits coming from, and where can I get more of them? That's like your tenth one of the of the stream so far, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was weird lag there. <laughs> Don't know what that was about. Damn, go Prism Ray. Hell yeah. Let's see, you don't need to be partner if you don't want to. Have to actually apply for it. Oh, okay. Um, okay, cool. Works for me. Yeah, I feel like affiliate, I, I should be able to hit relatively easily. Oh, I really do appreciate that, Xavier. That that does mean a lot to me, honestly, to hear you say that. Oh, wait, I meant to go, like, forgot where I was going. I meant to, uh, come back around this way. I, I wouldn't even know what I would want for emotes, honestly. I, I've never thought about it before. Um... I mean... <laughs> I would probably get a Crassus and a Pompey emotes, I would try to try to for sure. Um, I, I really don't know what I would want to use. I would really need to sit down and think, like, okay, what would be cool to have around? Like, what would, like, be fitting for me as a person? Um, and also, like, what would people want to actually use themselves? Let's see. Oh, statue number four. 
Okay, now I always do this. I get these first four very quickly, and the fifth one I always forget where it is. <laughs> oh wait, I actually um Oh you know what? No, let me actually warp out of here real quick. Uh, I don't want to leave the part, of course, because if you do, everything resets, and that's bad. That's, uh, bad. Oh, I could definitely do that, yeah. Um, although, that could get into maybe legal -ish issues. Although, I actually taught the Penny Arcade about using their character of Tycho as a uh, character display on a Final Fantasy IV MMO, match, uh, MMO actually. Um, the game lets you make custom sprites there and such. Um, and I still want to do that, but I've never made a custom sprite myself before. Um, but they gave me the okay to use it, actually. Um, so yeah, I don't know that would run into any issues there. Um, possibly. I mean, that's something to keep in mind, of course. Um, both to keep us to use as an emails, but also for their permission to even use it as well. Oh, that's a that's a true that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, so there's the fifth statue there actually. So we are gonna be done here pretty soon. This part actually took nowhere near as long as I thought it would. So that's always good. But yeah, thing is though with my with my case with the deep sea Tycho there, um, it's interesting because he is kind of an OC, but kind of not because he's just based off their character already from uh, the Precipice of Darkness games. So it's kind of like a, uh, a reskin there of sorts. Oh yeah, I, I have seen your Wulu emote on your Discord there, actually, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so it sounds like I'd be okay by and large, but I probably would still ask their permission just to be on the safe side. Um, okay, so I gotta think, how do I get back to where I was before? Um... I think I had to use the uh, the back right entrance, or bottom right one, I should say. But yeah, I'll keep that in mind for later, of course, in general. But also, I don't know how to make my own emotes at all, so I, I would need to look up how to do that. Or even to commission somebody to make them for me if I had the money to do so. Um, either way, yeah, that's a bridge I'll cross when we come to that point. Um, but yeah, for right now, before I even get to the emotes, I of course have to reach affiliate first, so... One step at a time, but I'd like to think I, would, I could uh, get there for sure. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I feel like I could have a ton of cool emote ideas if I sat, sat down and thought about them uh, for a while. Um, so for right now, let's go back to Wild Arms here for a bit. Um, all five statues here are pushed. Um, so we'll be reaching the end of the dungeon here shortly, um, but before I leave, um, there is something very, very important that I'll want to do, and I'll have to do it rather quickly as well. But it is totally worth it. Um, gonna be a little tricky as well, actually. Not so much, um, the early part, but what's gonna be after that uh, will be kind of hard there, but, uh, we should be fine. Um, also, I'm kind of lost. Um, oh, wait, 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 I have to do the top right entrance, I believe, to get back to where I was before. So, hey, thankfully the game's being nice to me and giving me just one enemy per encounter here. <laughs> Otherwise, I would maybe try running away from battles, but I also don't want to, because knowing my luck, I would fail every single time. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to avoid that, really. But yeah, I think I want to take the, uh, top top right entrance? I'm... yeah, I'm pretty sure it's top right I want to take. Yeah, so this away... okay, yeah, yeah, we should be able to, should be in the clear now, hopefully. Yeah, just down over there, we'll be able to grab that here pretty soon. After... more battles. <laughs> Thanks to the enemies here also aren't even that difficult. They don't do that much damage. Well, they, although they kinda do, but nothing I can't handle, really. Also, they don't down in one hit, which is always nice. Man, Jack, what is your evade? It must be pretty damn good to evade, evade all these attacks. Well, actually, you know what, too? What is his luck? I'm very curious, actually, about that. Um, okay, it's good. Cool. Normal and bad. Okay, so it, uh, it balances out pretty much there. 
Um, so let's see. Oh wait, no, I want to go... Ow. <laughs> I want to go this way. Um, yes, yes, here we go. Making progress. Um, yes, this away. And then, yeah, I'm pretty close to, uh, the last room I talked about earlier that I skipped, um, a little while back. Um, if I wanted to, I could steal from these guys, too, to see what they carry. Um, but it's probably something dumb, like a status cure item or something I don't really care about, so I'm just going to avoid that outright. Uh, one thing I will do, though, if I see Hellhounds again coming up in the future, um, I will steal from them to try and get some more magic carrots, because those are super good to have. And they're good for your eyesight, too, so you I mean you may as well, right? Okay. So, uh, here we go. So yeah, normally this room would be all blocked off. The statues would be in the middle of the room here, or of the uh, walkway, but since pushing all five of them out of the way, they are out of the way. Okay, so before doing... Well, you know, I'll have time to heal up here in a bit. So let's, let's do at least that quick heal for right now. Do a save state. Okay, so this one you got to be a little bit quick coming up here because it's a load bearing crystal bud. Gasp! Okay, so... Cecilia, escape. Now, you can leave right away and be fine. Do not, do not do that. What we want to do is actually go back to the save point room from earlier. And, uh, well, something new will be there that wasn't there before. What could it be? The mind wonders. Although, you and I both know what it is because we've played the game before. <laughs> I'm trying to be mysterious and aloof for maybe some lurkers out there who haven't played the game before. Also, anybody out there who is lurking, howdy hey, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a uh, good uh, Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday, okay. Anyways, I want to concentrate here a little bit. You only have three minutes to do this. Um, so yeah, go back to the save point room here. Save point, though, is gone, but we have the bombable wall, bombable wall up there to... Uh, well, blow up. Which leads us to a new area in the uh, maze here. Now, thankfully, the time does stop in battle. Thank God for that. And yeah, you only have three minutes to escape the area, but uh, it's plenty of time if you have the escape spell, which you'd want to have anyway for this part. And, and, well, in general, of course, I should say. But it also makes it a very, very quick escape, no pun intended, to uh, return to the save point room here instead of just backtracking normally, because that would take way too damn long to do, so. Okay, actually, real quick, I want to switch to a Jack and Handpan for this. Save a little bit of time there for a Crest Graph, and I think another one's over here, too? Righto. Okay, so let's go quickly up to the north, downstairs, and I want to go up the staircase here, and, okay, before going up any further, let's stop right about here, and let's do a little bit of healing. Cecilia, heal, heal, heal. Um, let's give you a magic carrot. Do a save state. Now, again, you absolutely want to have a waiting for this upcoming boss here. This being our first optional boss of the game. And first boss fight we've had in quite a while. This is chaos. Chaos is really, really powerful. Also, if you have a lucky card, definitely use it here. And Cecilia, first things first, use Awaken. Because probably what'll happen is I'll be put to sleep very shortly. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. So yeah, sometimes Chaos will use sleep and just ruin your entire day. Now, Awaken here, anytime you fall asleep, it'll wake you up. And I think you only have to use it once, and you'll be fine for the remainder of the fight. Now, Rudy, just spam Hand Cannon all day. Um, Jack, spam Meteor Dive. Cecilia, um... Let's go with Quick on Rudy to help out his speed there. I'd like to have everybody be faster than Chaos in case I need to use a Quick Item Heal or something. Or actually, probably should have used that on Cecilia first. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, that'll help a little bit there, at least. Yeah, Chaos has, like, I think 4,000 HP or so, maybe even more than that. It's pretty damn high at, at this point in, point in the game. You didn't even outspeed Jack? Ooh, that should be bad for my health. And now Rudy outspeeds Jack. This is sad. <laughs> okay, well, pretty much.
pretty much yeah, quarter of the entire party you should be okay. Yeah, hand cannon, more meteor dive, and then yeah, quick on Jack next. Yeah, really having your entire party be faster than Chaos makes this fight immensely easier, I will say. Especially for healing, as far as healing goes, because he does have some AoE spells, like this one! Oh, that's... never mind. Oh, sh shit! Um... Ow. Do I have revive? Yes, I do. Okay, um... <laughs> Why did that sound so weird? That, I forgot Revive did that, or made that sound effect there. Um, so anyway, so the, um, you know the, um, uh, that spell that increases magic resistance, and how I didn't get that earlier? I probably should have got that. <laughs> that would have helped. But anyway, there's Sleep and there's Awaken. That is a huge lifesaver in this fight. Granted, I do lose my turns from Jack and Cecilia there, but, uh... Oh well. At this point now, let's go for some hand cannon for uh, ar uh, arm lock on with Rudy there. Uh, let's go for a heal berry and a heal combo for Cecilia there. Um, now, fortunately, uh, Jack, I think, lost his speed boost from, well, you know, dying. So I'll have to try and reestablish quick as possible. Damn, that was super good. I mean, that's what Taito does. He has his Tommy gun and shotgun there, so that's that's old hat to him. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it does, you've seen how much damage it does, too, so you can't argue with results, right? Um, let's see, let's go for more Meteor Dive. And actually, let's go for a Mystic Heal Berry here while I'm at it. I have plenty to spare, so that's, that, that's just fine to use one here. And really, if you have a huge surplus of them, it wouldn't be terrible to use Mystic on one every turn when you're able to with Cecilia. Just to be on the safe side there. Yeah, keep doing purple electric. I am just fine with that. Now, no one really needs healing that much. So let's just keep going with arm locked on hand cannon. Meteor dive. Let's go for another quick on Jack there to reestablish that. And if need be, I can use a bullet clip or a magic carrot on somebody. But hopefully my stuff, my stuff will uh, last throughout the entire fight here. Yeah, we're doing some really good damage now, so we should actually almost have him here, hopefully. Okay, now... I already used Awaken once, I shouldn't need to use it again, it should just come back on its own. Thank you! Yeah, that spell is an absolute lifesaver in this fight, because otherwise, you're gonna be screwed, pretty much. Um, Cecilia... Um... Let's just go for a heal on Jack, may as well. Yeah, I think her spells really won't do that much damage here. Um, Valkyrie might be able to do some damage there. Um, but beyond that, I really don't know for sure, honestly. I usually just stick to hand cannon in a meteor dive here, uh, by and large. Let's see. Um, okay, see, I lost all my turns there from before, so let's go. Well, try heal again. But yeah, at this point, we have the fight under control, pretty much. Especially with us doing over 1,000 HP per full round of combat there. We should have this guy down, uh, I would hope, pretty soon. There we go! Got him! Or her. I actually don't even know if this is a boy or a girl, to be honest. Um, regardless, we have Chaos defeated, so yay! Okay, that was a little dicey. But also, hella EXP for that losing the lucky card there. And a ton of cash there, too. Hooray! And also for defeating Chaos, we get something very, very worthwhile. <laughs> Temple of Death. Yeah, you, uh, you ain't kidding there. And for defeating him, we get the Death Rune, which I want to give to Cecilia right away. This one is super... Why do you have the Summit Rune? Weird. Well, let's give you the uh, Death Rune to boost your sorcery there. I want to give Rudy the uh, Summit Rune there. Okay, now, Cecilia, uh, escape. Now, before you leave this part, anything you leave here... Um, I'll go over here in, in, in a sec, sorry. I kind of glossed over that. 
Um, but yeah, before you leave the part here, any items that you don't get in there are lost forever. Same with the uh, death rune there as well. Um, so anyway, yeah, with the death rune here, it uh, boosts your sorcery and your magic resistance by a lot more in comparison to the uh, water rune here. Um, also has a chance of instant death on all enemies when you summon it in battle. Um, I never use it to summon that much, though, really. I more so just give it to Cecilia to boost her sorcery. But yeah, it, it's super, super good. So, yeah, by all means, give it to her to make her magic even more effective. Okay, so that took a decent while. That part usually does, unfortunately. But yeah, for right now, I want to go ahead and uh, save up here real quick. And yeah, get my uh, arms reloaded here, too. And uh, then we'll go turn the Crystal Bud over to our Bartholomew there. Also, I've been playing for seven hours now. That's a lot more than I thought I was, actually. But, uh, well, there you are. Okay, oh yeah, what I also want to do... Uh, well, leave the church there, of course. Um, to be on the safe side, I do want to buy some extra heal berries. Um, they're so cheap, actually, it's just maxed out on 99. May as well, right? Stuff to sell... Um... But I'll never use a clear chime, so let's let's just toss that for some extra cash there. Why not? Let's see. Yeah, the crest graphs. I will. Actually, what else do I even want with them right now? I want to save some for later on, of course. But as far as spells go, I mean, nothing really that that useful now at this point. Um, black magic, I mean, I could get... Isn't there one more attack spell I'm missing? Vortex, that can be useful in some cases. Um, but I definitely use that way less often than the other spells there. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's scan, blind. Um, I may as well, why not? Maybe I'll use it at some point. Okay, so yeah, there's our vortex spell. Okay, so we have all the elements cover covered there, at least. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in the um, Crystal Bud to our Bartholomew over here, and uh, watch him get married, apparently. Oh, five grand! Okay, yeah, sure, it's all yours. <laughs> didn't really want the thing anyway. Token of engagement in these parts. Oh, so the, oh, you did say you wanted to give that to your girlfriend to uh, propose to her, but also, where is she? Unless she's the uh, pink-haired hair girl right there. Um, oh, yeah, this? Oh, yeah, I just bought it off eBay, you know, NBD. Why does her laughing sound like Dodd's barking? That was, that was weird. Yeah, that sounds like Dodd's barking. <laughs> At least to me, anyway. <laughs> Wait, how what? It, it, it excuse you, sir? Um, uh, no, no, no. Bartholomew, no. Bartholomew, no, no, bad, no. Uh, it, what? It's, what? What is happening? It, it's, what? What? Beg your pardon? What, what, what just happened? Guys, a wedding is kind of a big deal to have one tomorrow is kind of short notice and and many other things <laughs> yeah we we have to save the world like there's demons and monsters and statues and we have to do this but Cecilia I I know I poked fun at this, but I really do love it. So, <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I just heard a little like click sound, and then it just drops audio. I just don't get it. But uh, you know, uno momento, por favor. We good? Okay, we're good. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. I really, really don't. I might have to try using this in a different plug, actually, on my laptop. Maybe they'll have a little more success. 
one thing I'll mention too, when this goes up on YouTube, I'll put in the description um, about this and apologize again for it and uh, just go from there. Oh, but anyway, uh, that's awful nice of you there. Well, yeah, this is your fault. Oh, anyway, so yeah, demons at a wedding. That's preposterous. You say you say preposterous things, Xavier. <laughs> okay, so we can read up on their customs here, but I kind of don't want to. Um, actually, here, give me one sec. I gotta do something unrelated to what I'm doing right now. Um, bum ba dum ba dum. Uh huh. Wait, no, no. Uh huh. Wait, no. Um, here we go. Um, yes, I'm cheating. I'm looking up the uh, answers to what's coming up here later because I'm forgetful. Um, okay, here we go. Got it. I mean, you'd think also I play this game countless times, I would have them all memorized, but I kind of don't. So, yeah. Funnily enough, though, I still always remember the uh, 2 10 6 12 solution in the um, uh, Guardian Shrine from way earlier in the, in the game. I don't know why, it's stuck in my mind for eternity. <laughs> now, if you want to, you can talk to all the soldiers, sailors, they're not soldiers, <laughs> we're on S word. Um, and yeah, they'll give you like the info you need for the customs there and such, or the uh, the rules there, as uh, Jack exclaimed, or proclaimed, what have you. Um, so actually, while I'm here, I mean, I'll, I'll talk to them, of course, just to see what's uh, what's going on. Um, gross. Well, yeah, no shit. What do you think was gonna happen? You peed in his home. Like no one does that. <laughs> Oh, well, that's interesting to know. Um, oh, how did, wait. How does he already know that? How do you already know that? Uh, I guess Bartholomew is your captain, so he would have told you, I'm sure. Um, but anyway. Um, hello. Um, oh, okay. It's too unpredictable to use as a navigational aid. Okay, a navigational aid, uh, rather. Okay, so that gives you a hint right there, actually, to not... Um, say the uh, new moon. Uh, in this case, being the old moon, will be a uh, response coming up here. Um, hello. Oh, better future it brings. Oh well, the crystal bud did sell for five grand. So, water lily flower. Where did you get that? Can I have it? I'm. I'll be back. <laughs> well, actually, no. No, he gets to live. For now. Hello. Olivia Claire. Oh, okay. So that's how he actually knew what her fake name is. Um, I legit did not know that, I don't think. Unless back in the day I took the time to talk to all the NPCs around here to actually get the answers legit. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, I think Bartholomew's over here. Yeah, in the uh, captain's quarters. Oh, they use the stars. Oh, well, yeah, they've been doing that for centuries, right? Back in the day. Oh, wow. Okay, well, shout out to the uh, old moon for being super cool. Here, called towards the minister. Okay. Okay, so it goes bride first, then groom. So you want to keep that in mind for later as well. Now, let's go back uh, topside, uh, if I can, anyway. Let's see, talk to this guy over here. There we go. Statue of a monster in the cargo hold. Can we go there? Oh, so that's how he got the Guardian statue aboard. Okay, so then where did the merchant get it? I have no idea. Only likes 18-year-old women. Well, Cecilia's 17, so... Oh, that's... Kinda creepy looking. Yeah, that's that's a statue, alright. Um, where can I... I... I need that. I need, I need that to protect and stuff. So, uh, just, just so you know, just throwing that out there. Okay, if a marriage is unwanted, the tradition dictates one holds a ceremonial cup in the left hand. Oh. Okay. <sighs> this irks me. This will sound really, really dumb, what I'm about to say. But here's the thing. This guy says this marriage is supposed to be fake. 
there's supposed to be a D at the end of that word. Suppose and supposed are two different things. When people say, oh, I'm supposed to do this. No. Suppose is a different word than supposed. It's They're different things, people. I've seen people mess us up all the time, and it hurts me to no goddamn end. Right? No. You're not supposed to go to the wedding. No. You're supposed to... Yeah. Or, yeah. It's, oh, my God. I can rant about that more, but I don't want to. <laughs> ah, just... Grammar isn't hard, people. It's really, really not. Like, there, there, and there. There's different forms of the word there. T-H-E-R-E, T-H-E-I-R, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. They're all different fucking things. <sighs> okay, I'm done ranting. <laughs> For real this time, I mean it. <laughs> Okay, so we got most of the uh, clues there, actually, from all the sailors here and such. So let's do another quick save while I'm here. And, oh, I actually almost forgot. Coming up here very shortly is something super, super cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. Though I actually just now realized I could rest here. I didn't need to even use the money at the actual end from earlier. So, uh, you know, whoops, kind of forgot about that. Okay, the busy day begins. Yeah, that's uh, putting it lightly. Okay, here we have the wedding. Okay, so first things first, the uh, bride walks forward first, always. And yeah, the people there will cheer or boo if you get the uh, right or wrong answer. Uh, bride is Olivia Claire, using her fake name here, of course. Uh, we are giving love... That's putting it very strongly there, Mr. Priest, but Bartholomew, I suppose... Um, the ship, that will be your second home. You're pushing things here. Uh, that's the sweet candy. Um, this would be the old moon. Remember, the new moon is inaccurate and unreliable and also stupid. So, <laughs> well, mainly the uh, first two. Okay, glass in the right hand. When the wedding's fate, I believe he said there. Jewel of the future, that would be the crystal bud that we got earlier there, of course. This one, I don't know how you're supposed to know it, but it's 8th. And praise the name of the Sea Guardian, that would be Lucadia, not Arcaida. Or, that's supposed to be Arcadia, maybe? That, that, that's typo. Um, and then just go for it. Okay, so it takes care of that. Now, I'm going to be quiet here for a bit because we have super cool music coming up here shortly. This theme is so good. It is so, so good. And here we have Zed. Zed is... He's kind of dumb. <laughs> but also, he's super, super cool. So, I, I'm all for it. Okay, so, so, usual stuff here. Go with Hand Cannon, Meteor Dive. Cecilia absolutely quit herself first. Because Zed is super, super fast. Now, thankfully, he only has single target attacks, which aren't too bad to deal with there. They do, like, a couple hundred damage uh, per hit there. Nothing we can't handle, of course. But yeah, quick, at least on Cecilia and Jack first, and then you'll be A-OK. -okay. I might use it on Rudy here as well. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Do I need to stack it? Damn, I forgot he was that fast. Okay, well, maybe I will stack it on Cecilia another time. I think just once on Jack should be okay for him to outspeed Zed. Um, although Rudy actually might be a waste to use on him. So we're just going to pass on that. So let's go for quick on Cecilia again. He still goes first. Holy crap. Well, okay. That complicates things slightly. 
Now the quick, uh, uh, it does stack multiple times there. I think only twice, actually, to pretty much double your response rate there. Uh, let's go for an yeah, arm lock on hand cannon, uh, meteor dive, and yeah, let's go for one more quick on Jack. Then we should be okay. Okay, cool, she goes first now. Awesome, that'll make things a lot easier for me. Um, I think slowdown can also be useful here, um, so I will probably try that here shortly if it'll work. Um, I hope so, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I need to heal up Rudy, though, so I'll give him a heal spell here very shortly. Yeah, I love the, uh, the trumpet here with the song, along with the, um, the uh, maracas or casting nets in the beginning of the song. It, it's, it just vibes so well. Okay, now Jack outspeeds him too. Okay, now we're in even, even better shape. Yeah, this fight is a kind of a step down, actually, from Chaos there. Like, anything he does to you, just use a heal berry or the heal spell on, or Mystic with a heal berry, and then you'll be just fine, nothing to worry about. Uh, let's see here. So let's go arm lock on hand cannon. Let's go for more meteor dive. And do I have slowdown? Okay, yeah, I do. Do I really need it though at this point? Nah. Let's try Valkyrie. Let's see how that'll do against him. I mean, Valkyrie usually is pretty damn good for the most part, so it should be good here too, right? I would hope. Or not. Hmm. 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 That's a letdown. <laughs> That's a huge letdown, actually. Okay, well, no biggie. Um, Cecilia, let's just go for... Heal on yourself, yeah. Um, I could summon the uh, Death Rune here, actually. Or... Not. Although, I don't think it would have worked anyway. I don't even think it does any actual damage. Um... Oh. Okay, well, I'm up for a duel. Why not? Well, got some more levels there. Nice. But, um... Kinda... Why are you on fire? Or smoldering? Or... And he's gone. Wait, what do you mean here, too? What? What's... Why do you care about the wedding? It was a sham. Stupid ass. Yeah, you say that as you're running around too. You're not really helping. Um, priest, hello, sir. Um, yeah, yeah, you can only hope, right? Demons. Uh, Drake, Drake, did I talk to you? Uh, help! <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best, but uh, no promises on that one. Um, I talked to everybody here. It's kind of hard to uh, <laughs> to do so when they're all grouped up like that. I also can't go inside. Oh, hey, the statue's still... Oh... Okay. Um... Hi, Lady Harkin. Oh, um... Hi? Oh. Well, I'd like to think so, anyway. I only know four of them, though, so I wouldn't go... maybe quite that far? Ooh, burn! She burned you. And... Well, we're over three. We officially suck. Okay, well... Oh, hey, we did a, uh, another Guardian from this. I mean, it was a Guardian statue, so I guess we did one more rune. I would imagine, right? Oh, hey, new Ashats. Um, I will literally never use you. You just uh, boost speed by a little bit more than Fenderlon did, but I don't really use the speed boosting as Espers, <laughs> Guardians, rather, um, at all. So. Um, irony! Of the worst variety, I should say. Um, so here's when things... Oh, okay, well, they don't turn immediately bad yet. That's good. <laughs> For now, anyway. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, fake wedding nonsense. Uh, to proceed... Oh, actually, do these, do these guys say anything else? Anything new? Oh. 
Um, well, probably better safe than sorry, right? I mean, there were demons attacking, so you can't really blame them. I mean, I sure as hell can't. Oh, hey, your reward. Oh. For... what? I didn't really do anything. We kind of failed again. Um, we did beat Zed, though, so that's a plus, right? Oh, hey, cool. Um, yeah, they did actually use your help there quite a bit. But, uh, anyway, um, I'm pretty sure there's actually no items around here anywhere. Although I've actually never even bothered to look before, to be honest, so, uh, maybe there's something? If, maybe just one item? You throw me a bone game? I wouldn't mind that. Anything here? Anything in these barrels? Anything? Something? Anything? At all? <laughs> eh, well, okay. Not gonna waste time with doing that. You've had enough. This guy, he, he is so over it. He is D-U-N done. Oh, shit. Um, crap, 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 crap. Um. 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 Okay. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Um. Okay, I don't think my save file was too far back from before. Please. Okay, it's before the wedding, it seems like here. Okay. Um. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Okay, um. Change of plan slightly. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um. It won't take very long, but I also don't want to do it just because it's annoying, and I just... <sighs> Damn it. This stream has not gone well, like, <laughs> at all for me, honestly. Between the headset dropping multiple times, um, and then this crap happening, um... Okay, well, at least the fight I can kind of optimize here. Um, I won't need to use uh, Valkyrie there with Cecilia, so that'll save a turn. Um, I already remember the order of the, um, the things here, so I'm going to use some fast forward here. So, yeah, Bride, Olivia, Bartholomew, Sweet Candy, Old, uh, Wright, Crystal Bud, Eighth, and Lucadia. Go for it. Okay. Uh, music here I'm not too worried about because it's we've already heard it, so it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, that, that, and then yeah, I want to go um, quick on Cecilia. So yeah, so twice each for them to outspeed Zed will be the uh, plan of attack here. Oh, can't really menu that well on fast forward, though I will say. Okay, so yeah, let's do Cecilia faster than Zed first. Uh, let's go. Yeah, arm lock on hand cannon, meteor dive, and then yeah, quick on Jack. Um, let me heal Cecilia up first, just in case. Um, well, he's still faster. Did I? I used quick twice, didn't I, on Cecilia? Did I only use it once? So I used it twice. Um,. Okay, well, I'll try it one more time on her. Okay, that time she went first. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so, yeah, arm locked on, hand cannon, meteor dive, quick on Jack. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, meteor dive, and yeah, let's go for a mystic with uh, a berry here. There we go. Okay, and we got him. Okay, now, this time, what I should have done earlier... Um, so let's do the little uh, plot here as well, just real quick. Blah, 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 new a shats, blah, 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 thunder rune, blah, 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 we suck. Okay, we're good. 
Okay, we're back. Okay, that actually didn't take very long at all. But even still, it's such a huge nuisance when that happens. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Fast Forward. It's, it's such a wonderful feature. Whoever decided to put that in the emulator in, the, in its early days of EPS at sea, thank you. I love you. <laughs> yeah, speedrun strats for real. Actually, I haven't I haven't watched the full speedrun of this game. Um, I know they have it down to like only a handful of hours actually, which is insane to me. Yeah, I don't know how you managed to do all of this. And yeah, we were, and we kind of screwed everything up. So but anyway. Uh, for answering all the questions correctly during the fake wedding, we get the best reward here, that being 5,000 Gela, a Mega Berry, a Lucky Card, a Full Revive, and the Wand Tool for Cecilia. And now we've got the animals, so essentially we're Eliza Thornberry at this point. Okay, so that's cool. And Okay, so we, we were apparently already on the sea at first, but well, now we're going back to uh, Port Timney. Oh, I probably should have jotted down what that error code was for EPS at sea, in case it comes up again. Um, but, oh well. But anyway, so yeah, with Major Berry here, restores 2,000 HP to a character. Full revive, of course, fully revive somebody, as the name suggests. And, um, well, the money there is super nice there, too, of course. Okay. Um, so, where to from here? Oh, yeah, I guess the all just... Well, they're on the ship right now, so... And the drakes are apparently gone. Oh, okay. I guess they have their own ship, apparently, to sail all the way up there. Oh, well, yeah, the name would suggest as much. Oh, you mean there weren't before? Interesting. Interesting. Um... Oh, does my ammo need reloaded? Probably, right? Uh, yeah, it does, by a lot, actually. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and take care of that. And you, you know what, while I'm here too, I'm going to do another hard save, just to be on the safe side. Um, this and save states uh, will, will be used throughout the uh, stream here, of course. Okay, um, it's already a little after 11... Um, I'm going to go for just a little bit longer here, actually, to get to where I will want to go next, um, or at least a little before then, but yeah, I'll, I'll be calling it here pretty soon, actually. Um, yeah, um, that's, that's bad, right? We, um... That's a little early, don't you think, there, Stoldark? We're not really leveled for that. Snow-covered demon castle in the far northern plains. We can't get there. <laughs> we have no way of going there. Well, that's right, yeah, you are on the uh, east coast. Yeah, it's just 11.07 for me right now, so a little bit longer to uh, go, yet, to, uh, go there yet, of course. I probably won't fall asleep until about midnight, but I like having a little extra time to just like unwind, just like just lie down in bed quietly before going to sleep. There's that uh, heartbeat there again. So is this is this is there hideout apparently in the northern plains here somewhere as well? Oh, here comes Zeke Fried. Yeah, that's... that is very slightly very ironic. Uh-oh. You guys all coming here, apparently, for a big old party? Well, I guess your leader is being revived, so... Oh, oh god, uh, oh. Oh. Ew. Ew. I, I need more E's and W's. <laughs> I need so many more E's and W's right now. 
She is literally a something? She's a just a big old cocoon insect bug monster queen thing. And she terrifies me a lot. <laughs> And that laugh, though, is just... Just that haughty, but also terrifying laugh. Oh, so you, you only came here just to destroy the world. Interesting. Oh yeah, you were from Hyades. So what happened to that? Oh, okay, that... That happened. Interesting. Oh! Um, so, your reward for helping me come out to life is death. Um, you'd think that would kind of make them... Well, think. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have done this. Like... I'm having second thoughts about helping you. Oh, interesting. Can we can we go there? That sounds fun. Also dangerous, but mostly fun. <laughs> but anyway, I forget if anyone in uh, Port Tim Port Timney tells you about this. But essentially, um, well, also you need to have both duplicators to progress here. The one in Saint Centaur, and the one in Port Timney. Because you have to use one of them on the door here. It's a sealed magical door that can only be opened by the duplicator. And then you'll see on the other side of this one... Well, I'll just tell you there's another duplicator door there as well. Also, how is that thing there in space? Who put that there? Like, and how does it work? I mean, I'm glad it, it works for us for a... Uh, for this uh, travel across Volgaia, but I have questions. <laughs> like, a lot of them. But uh, I digress. But anyway, yeah, so here's door number two. So, duplicator number two. And we're back to another uh, Yol Pyramid here. And where might we have wound up? Well, you'll see here momentarily. Oh, someone's harassing travelers of the, travelers of the Sand River. Oh, interesting. Um, but east of my llama, or my llama, so does that mean... Um, drumroll please, we are actually indeed back in Malama village. And, um, real quick heads up, um, uh, watch it, I'll... Oh my god, I did not want to fight a battle here. I mean, okay, one lizard man, I may as well fight you, I'll one-shot him, so it's not a huge deal, but still... Didn't want to fight him anyway. But, oh well. Anyway, so our next destination will be here through the Sand River. I know, in an RPG, ridiculous. Anyway, so we have a little monkey over here, smacking him on the head with our new wand. And we'll follow him through the little path there, um, next, uh, next stream. Um, but for right now, actually, I want to go back to Malama here first. Uh, for a couple things, actually. Um, let me think. It's over in the... Come on with this. Oh, wow. The Twitch even crashed, too, apparently. That's cool. Wow. It is just not my data stream. Uh, I think we're, we're gonna...
let's see. Okay. Um, okay. Um, on my end, I am back. Um, I have game audio in my headset. I have commentary going. I can tell with the OBS there. Um, I know it'll, it'll take a sec. Okay, there we go. Okay, but yeah, I was saying uh, before, actually, um, that last time, um, I actually did move my headset wire there a bit, and I could hear like, the little static and the sound itself kind of like warping a bit there in my headset. Um, it came back on my end for a set, but then just went right away afterwards, so. Um, anyway, what I was trying to say earlier uh, was just make our way up to the uh, southeast part of the village here. Because um, with our new wand tool that we have, we can go over here, actually. We weren't able to uh, do this before, but now we can talk to the uh, pupper here. Also a very good dog, as they all are. But after you talk to him, he'll actually move out of the way to allow us to grab this chest for the radar tool for Rudy. See, whenever you're close by an item, you'll see a... Uh, green little blip on screen there for when an item is uh, nearby there. So, that's pretty handy. I'll be using that here and there for sure. Oh yeah, your mic, yeah, the mic farts and that static hits. Yeah, it did the same thing on my end. It's been, it's been doing that, um, well, th throughout the stream there, really. Um, okay, so let me save here now. Um, and yeah, I'll explain all this crap in the uh, info of the uh, video when it goes on YouTube, of course. Um, so stream plans coming up for this week. Um, I went over them earlier, but again, for a quick reminder, the only day I will probably stream or record something will be Friday, if I get off work early enough. I don't know if I will or not. I have a hunch that I will. Um, so there's a good chance I'll record or stream something. Um, uh, well, either record Final Fantasy 1 or stream more Wild Arms there. Um, I'll of course keep you all posted on my Twitter. Um, at MrMovies87, for those curious. Hashtag shameless plug. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna wind down here for the night, head to bed here soon. Um, so yeah, no streams tomorrow. Um, uh, and yeah, maybe Friday. Saturday, probably not. Sunday, probably not, as well. Um, so really, yeah, don't count on anything for Friday. Um, so hopefully I'll be back sometime early next week there. Uh, with that, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Been a pleasure chatting with y'all. Xavier, thanks for hanging out too. As always, I really do appreciate it. And again, I really sincerely apologize for the tech issues throughout the stream here. Um, I'll see what I can do to fix them. Um, maybe try a different USB plug on my laptop here for my headset. Um, try not to move the wire there as much. Something there to make things better, hopefully, so it won't happen quite as much. Um, with that, that'll do for me, guys. I'll see y'all later. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you guys on the next stream.